All right, morning, morning. It is October 11th, and we are getting out bright and early. Um, I think this is actually the latest we've broken camp in a long time, besides excluding town days. Um, I don't count that as camp, but um, it's like 8.06, and we are just starting walking. Um, it's just hard. It's just hard to get the motivation when you roll into camp and everything's soaked. And then when you're packing up, everything's soaked. Um, it's hard to pull that inner motivation to be gung-ho about stepping off the miles. So, yeah, it's a little later than we would prefer. But all that we got ahead of us is foreseeable, cruisy Chippewa National Forest stuff. So I'm just going to walk. In theory, we should even be able to dry our stuff out at some point today. Um... Hopefully the sun pops out. In theory, it should. All right, nice little lake right before we cross the Bear River. Um, hopefully it doesn't make us ford it. Just popped out of the trail right yonder. Um, gives us a little bit of two track walking. So, cool, cool. Come on, sunshine. Keep trying your best to fight out those clouds. Ooh, a little bit flooded. I love the old symbols. I don't know why. Every time I see one of these old ones, um, it makes me smile. I like the new ones, too. The new uh, emblems. But every time I see an old one, it just uh, feels different. It feels like... Um, you're walking more through, you're already walking through a lot of history, um, let alone the NCT, everything before it as well, but it makes it feel like, I don't know, it gives it a, like, mysterious feeling, um, if that makes sense. Not mysterious, um, I don't know, I like them. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, I like them. Alright, they also got good boardage, again, um, board, board games. Board, board signage, signage boardage. Um, we're just leaving the crossing of Highway 52 where we had Craig um, come out and chat us up who he's uh, been following us since the Ice Age Trail way back in 2019. Really, really awesome. Came out, gave us some cinnamon buns, um, diet, not Diet Coke, Cherry Coke. Gave me an extra bag of chips. Um, just a friendly guy. Just really friendly. Nice conversation. Really awesome. He actually wanted... He knows about Magpie's love for the mouse so much that he actually asked what happened to Mickey Mouse, which I know we're all upset about this. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. That makes my heart do, do well that... There's more people out there that love the Mickey Mouse. Um, he he wants the Mickey Mouse ba back, baby. <laughs> I have only ever hummed the Mickey Mouse in Minnesota. I have never actually said the Mickey Mouse voice, I don't think. But it's tempting. So, Craig, if you're watching this, man, thank you so much for sharing some time. Um, and sharing some snacks with uh, with us, it was really fun. Um, as you know, we're both always magpie a little more so, but we're always time conscious and miles conscious. But it's not only 
nice to get out of that mentality sometimes, but I think it's necessary to just relax, share some conversation, feel a little bit like a human again, interacting with other humans. So thank you for coming out, Craig. That was, that was really cool. Um, sorry about this morning. Um, it sounded like you were there early and yeah, we were just so unmotivated to get out of camp that we didn't get out of camp until later. Um, and what's weird is I still haven't gotten your text message. I have service, but no, no text. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, that was really fun. Really, really fun Ch sharing a chat. It's getting cold. I don't know why. But um, yeah, thank you. Really, really thank you. That was very pleasant in every, every type of way. Chippewa. We are somewhere right there, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 4,600 mile trail, huh? Lies. I think it's something different, y'all. nice good job minnesota hopping on that dca life y'all learned something from wisconsin y'all learned something from wisconsin or maybe it's wisconsinites coming over showing you what that dca life is about um yeah quick lunch time i don't think we're gonna be able to dry anything out unfortunately but um be able to eat some salami at least All right, that's a full scale drying out party for y'all. Um, we're about a mile and a half before, I don't know, it's a busy road. It's another one of those big roads you cross. Um, was wanting to push there um, because it seemed like for the past 30 minutes, we were finally starting to see some blue skies. But this patch, the trail's like right, you can see it. There, that's where we crossed. And we saw this little area right back here that had some good sunage. Um, and it was too good of an opportunity to pass up because all of our stuff is soaked. Um, really get the puff up on that again. Rain jacket was soaked. Puffy was soaked. Shorts and drawers were soaked. Gloves were soaked. Um, as you see, the tent was absolutely soaked. Everything was. And she was soaked too. Mm-hmm. Nothing to say. No. Um, so yeah, much needed drying out party. Even though we already had lunch, it would have been nice to coincide these breaks, but been been wet and cold. Be Seen as a little bit late for lunch. Yeah, been wet and cold before, and it's worth hike, ooh, hiking a little extra into the night to get stuff dry.
Like that, either there's just still moist or it's wet paint. It's not wet paint, it's just moist. It just looked brand spanking new. Wow. that another DCA campsite Crown Lake campsite that must be Crown Lake um, nice very nice um, it's about <clears throat> 5 30 getting closer to 6 and um, I don't know we still got about six or seven miles to go to hit our uh, 30 for the day so we're gonna keep on cruising See what this board talks about. Oh yeah, three and a half miles, eh? Crown Creek Lake Campsite, two and a, two and a half miles, eh? It is 6:20, um, and probably have about four and a half miles left to uh, squeak above our 30 for the day. Um, a lot of factors took away from us being able to crush McDidley miles today. Um, really contingent and good like, terrain that's very contingent on crushing miles um, again that vocabulary does not work out but that's what I'm going to go with because I want to just keep on talking and avoid the vocabulary mispronunciations uh, um, misconjugations again I'm getting too lost in the sauce um, so a lot of factors kind of compiled today for us to keep us out of that mid 30 range Unless you want to hike late into the night. Um, getting out of camp late because um, of everything just being so wet and so damp and soaked. And then within the first two or three hours, running into Craig, which was fantastic. Wouldn't have traded that for anything. Um, and then not being able to coincide our lunch break with our drying out party also uh, required us to take two breaks instead of one um, so a lot of factors but it's a-okay we're still early in the section we can still make it up as long as we get above the 30 today we're sitting pretty which um yeah we should be able to hit like i said the next four to five miles i think four and a half right in there somewhere it's 6 20 so we'll be probably night hiking for about an hour um hour and some change around until eight o'clock we'll probably have walkable light until hmm, 6 40 6 50 somewhere in there um that's definitely getting shorter the days are getting shorter but the miles are also getting shorter we did in fact um squeak under 700 miles left on the trail today baby whoo whoo um exciting but slightly exciting because 
I don't know if I can feel excitement anymore. I think the NCT has stripped my emotions bare just to the feeling of uh, tiredness and just ready to keep uh, getting this trail done. So might be excited once we hit sub 600, but for now, today we passed sub 700. I think by the time we get to camp, we're sitting at like right, right around 680, 685. Um, 685 miles left on the trail, which should be about 23 days left. Cool, cool. Let's get it. a campground but I hope it's a DCA all right don't know what that campground was we just walked a little bit to look at it and there were just like a vacant car there so um we're gonna keep plugging I don't know what that actually was um yeah curious all right, end of the day. I think we ended up doing closer to 32 miles. Um, so we got after it. Um, even with all the breaks today, we still got up into there. I think it's like nine. Do you know what the time is? It's 8.30. It's 8.30, so still a good time to get to camp. 